Hey everybody, and I'm going to say welcome to um, your, new, your course, EdTech Curriculum. And I wanted to kind of talk just a little bit about what you can expect this summer. This is an eight-week course. It starts today, and I'm posting this on June 1st. And it will end on July 24th is the last day of class. Um, your last due date is going to be July 22nd. During this course, we are going to take a look at how technology integration and library media work together and separately to support curriculum within the school and also how those um, areas have their own curriculum, what those curriculums look like, and then you're going to work to even develop a short piece of the curriculum that you might use in a school that is specific to either technology or specific to school library and information literacy. So technology literacy, information literacy, those are the two things we're going to look at during this short eight-week stretch of time. I believe most of you are taking this course in conjunction with curriculum development. So what we're going to be doing is building on what you're also learning in that course. That means the last three weeks of what you're doing here in my course is you're going to be given the state of Kansas. I know not everybody's in Kansas, but that's what we're going to use. We're going to use the state of Kansas standards for teaching computers and information literacy, which is the technology and library curriculum or standards, excuse me, that the state of Kansas has developed for K-12. We're going to take those standards and I'm going to have you choose um, a grade level. I'm going to have you choose, um, I'm going to give you a time frame. It's going to be a nine week time frame. And I'm going to ask you to use the skills that you've developed during this course and curriculum development course to actually put together a curriculum document for that um, specific area. So if you're a technology integration specialist individual, you will focus on the computer and the technology literacy piece. If you're a library media major or doing that as your emphasis, you will focus on the school library piece. Now, in all actuality, they should overlap. And that's the goal of, this, of our whole program is to realize that the technology literacy and the information literacy really overlap each other. And technology integration specialists and library media specialists need each other to be a really powerful team. So there's nothing that says when we get to that point, and we'll talk more later when you get there, that you can't have some technology infused in the information literacy curriculum and the, and the technology literacy and the other way around. Okay. So if you're working with library, you can have technology. If you're working with technology, you can have some library because it all really weaves together. And I hope you see that as we work through what we're doing. And I hope you've seen that in your previous courses as well. So leading up to that, for the first five weeks of, course, of the class, we're going to be um, looking a little more specialized. We're going to look at um, differentiated instruction. We're going to look at the specialized curriculum in general. Is it necessary? Is it not? What's it look like? That kind of thing. We're going to look at school improvement and change and what our role is in that piece of the puzzle. And there's one more we're going to look at, and I can't remember it off the top of my head, but we're going into, uh, oh, assessment. The big, the big ticket assessment. And you all know a lot about that, I know, but we're going to go through, look at some um, what they call meaningful assessment, um, authentic assessment, you've probably heard it called. And I really want that to be, I want to go over it now, these first five weeks of class, to really refresh it in your mind and get you thinking along those lines as you work in curriculum development through that process. And then you get a little more specific here in this course, then at the end of this class, you'll feel comfortable writing that piece of curriculum. I'm not going to make you write a whole curriculum. My goodness, that would be evil. <laughs> And I am evil, but not that evil. Just kidding. We're gonna. Um, I hope you enjoy this course. Um, I will admit it's kind of under construction a little bit. The first 
um, five modules should be open today, June 1st. There may be some things here and there that change along the way, but you can go through those modules. I would ask that you go through those modules in order. You, you can go through them as you can. So if you finish module one today, skip on down and start module two. That's great. So that you can work at your own pace during this course. However, there are due dates. Working at your own pace doesn't mean there aren't going to be due dates. So make sure you note due dates on assignments as you work through. There's something due next Monday, and then there's something due the 26th, the 29th, July 6th. And I know that's mean because it's just right after 4th of July weekend, but we've got such little time that we have to, you know, we've got to do it. So my recommendation is during that July 4th week, you work during the week so you can enjoy the weekend. <laughs> Um, and then the last final project will be due July 22nd because that's that curriculum piece and I'm going to give you about two and a half weeks to work on that one, okay? So, I'm excited to get started. If you have questions, holler at me. Email is the best or text message. Um, I tend to sometimes not answer the phone. I'm really bad about the phone. And I don't, and I am a technology teacher, but I do not have my voicemail set up on my phone because I'm bad about checking it. I won't be on the at the university hardly at all this summer, so please don't call my office phone. In fact, I'm not even putting my office phone on the syllabus, so you use my cell phone. Text me. If you text me, please include your name. Text messages are great. I don't mind text messages. I'm on Skype when I'm here at my computer, which is mostly going to be in the mornings during the summer, um, and then weekends will be sketchy to catch me, but I will I get email on my phone. Like I said, I get text messages, so if you have an emergency, that's great. It's okay. I'm here to answer your questions. I know you're busy because it's summer, there's vacations, there's stuff going on. If you find out you're not going to be able to meet a due date because you've got a plan, you're going to a church camp, a mission trip, or whatever's going on, let me know before you go, and we'll work that out. Okay, I'm really flexible. I understand. Life happens. And so don't hesitate to ask questions. If there's something as you're working through a module that doesn't quite seem right to you, let me know because I've been, like I say, I've been importing from a previous class and I'm making changes to this class. So things I may have brought in, it's easy to miss things. I'll say that in Canvas when you do it that way. So don't hesitate to ask about anything. If you don't understand something and you need clarification, please, please, please ask. And I'm also going to have within the modules, within each module, there will be a discussion board that's for questions specific to what's going on in that module. That way you can ask your question there and I can answer it. And then maybe somebody else had the same question, so I'm not having to answer it like four or five different times. So let's make that it. I think that's it. So have a great one, and I will talk to you, at least in this way, again very soon. Bye-bye.